Are you ready to trade in your old iPhone for a new iPhone 14 Pro? Watch this video first. It's time for Mini News, Mini News Sesh. Yeah! yeah. Welcome back to the mini sods. Yay, I'm so excited. We have Monday and Wednesday episodes. Every Monday, we're having the short form news and tips and tricks for you, for your marketing, for your interior design business, or whatever's going to help you make that uh, their money. Because <laughs> business is right. We want all want a successful interior design business. Today, we're talking all about the iPhone 14 Pro. I have mine on order. Uh, am I going to regret that? We're going to find out now with Gavin. All right, this week for the mini news, we welcome back Gavin. And Gavin, we're talking about something so exciting. Uh, I'm, I have mine on order. And in the green room, you were saying you already have yours. And yeah. that is the uh, new iPhone yeah. uh, 14, right? Yep, the iPhone 14 Pro. Yeah, nice. I can't wait to get mine. I'm supposed to get it next month. I can't wait. We got it. Uh, we got it right here. So um, had a had a great chance to put it through its paces. Um, it was announced on September 7th, and it shipped on September 16th. And we were lucky enough to be one of the first people to actually get our hands on it. So um, I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was great. I mean, I, I'm I'm really impressed by it. But uh, you know, the big thing I think some of um, the viewers are wondering is how did it perform? You know, is this phone worth the upgrade? and how does it impact your workflow as an interior designer or an architect? Uh, but we can kind of kind of jump straight into that. Yeah, let's do it. Tell, tell us what you found, what you've discovered, and give us your thoughts. I'm so eager to hear. Yeah, so the first thing Apple introduced as far as uh, the phone was not just the, uh, the hardware, but the software. And that's the dynamic island right here. This is something they're saying is one of the biggest updates to the iPhone's physical uh, display since it took over uh, the entire screen um, with, um, or took over the entire phone with the screen. So right. this little pill shaped area at the top of the iPhone is actually just like a fusion of hardware and software that allows you to consolidate notifications, play music, um, FaceTime, whatever have you, and it can allow you to you know keep up with Uber rides, things like that, while you're doing other activities. So in short, it really allows you to multitask that much more easily, which is something that I know a lot of people uh, watching this channel greatly value. Yeah. How are you finding it? Is it is it more of a gimmick, or you're actually enjoying that? No, it's actually uh, it's one of those things that's kind of subtle, but it is really uh, beneficial in terms of again multitasking. It's something where you're not having to kind of scroll away or mm -hmm. swipe away to go to another app. It's something to where like okay, uh, if you're say you're texting right and you have. Um, you know, an important message, you're messaging your friends or your partner, you can have this little, uh, this little thing will tell you how far away your uh, Uber ride is, scores, like if your team scores and you don't have a, t a chance to watch the <laughs> game, whatever have you, um, it, it just like allows you to do multiple things at once. So it, it, they, they really made it kind of um, this intuitive, fun little uh, button slash, you know, um, update bar per se that, that allows for a lot of, um, yeah, multiple functionalities. Cool. And if you're not watching us on our YouTube channel and you're just listening to the audio version of this podcast, Gavin's holding up his brand new 14 iPhone and showing us all that, all of this. I'm so, so jelly. So do you think, uh, so I upgraded mine. I had the 12 and I upgraded to the 14. I'm not doing interior design anymore, but you know, I have to have the latest shiny new thing. How right. do you, do you think that it's worthwhile for interior designers to upgrade to the, to the new 14 and tell us why? Yeah, I, I really do. I think it is. Um, I think just in general, uh, it, it's a lot of little things. Um, you know, all phones have pretty similar features, but the the reason why you should really update uh, to this phone is for how well it does those features, right? Mm -hmm. So basic things like a lot of interior designers are constantly on the go. They're constantly in the field, whether they're at you know in in terms of you know, decorating, they're meeting with clients, um, basic things that are just irritating uh, with other phones <laughs> on a daily basis. Like when you're in the sunlight, like say you're outside or you're, you know, in the, in the sunlight and you're trying to look at your phone and yeah. there's some smudges on it or something like that. And you can't really see what's going on or you're trying to show clients some photos on your phone. Um, and it's just not very bright because you're outside and you, you know, we all know that that sure. feeling of having to go find like uh, some shade or a shadow to be like hunch over and look into our phone uh, so that we can see what's going on there because it's right. so bright outside. Well, with this phone, that's not, an, that's not a problem. Um, that's one of the features is that it's two times brighter in sunlight than previous models. And so, you know, 
obviously many interior designers and architects are you know, on the go, do a good deal of business from their phones. And these are where those little things really just, they matter. So, um, you know, like I said, we've all been walking around and having to like punch <laughs> yeah. over and deal with that. So that's one of the things. Um, but the, the, the biggest thing that I think will, will benefit interior designers is the upgraded camera system, which now sports a 48 megapixel sensor, uh, which Holy allows how yeah, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> It, uh, it allows for you. It, that's a that's as big of a of a sensor in as in most DSLR cameras. So that's a that's a big deal. And allows. Yeah, I think that's what I'm filming this. I think my Canon. I have a Canon EOS R, and I think that's yeah. 48. Is, I yeah, think, I'm not it's, sure. But yeah, it's, so. it's if not, it's pretty close. So I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's in that DSLR territory range. So yeah. obviously, going to allow for a lot more high quality uh, images. Um, you know. This isn't to say you can necessarily go and replace, you know, a DSLR with this phone, but it's going to allow you to take much closer level photographs in terms of your projects, uh, the content that you're creating, um, you know, includes two times optical zoom, telephoto zoom, which is great for like those tighter shots, some, some more of those sure. kind of like details. And so, so that's something that's also uh, great to consider. Um, as well as the biggest thing being with that sensor comes amazing low light capabilities, um, which has been improved up to like, I think like three times with respect to this phone, which when you're indoors and you're shooting interiors, having those, that ability to take photos in much lower light is, I, I can't, you know, overstate the, the benefit of that. So, yeah. um, it's going to make those photos just sharper, more crisp. You won't see as much noise in those. And so that's going to be a, a big deal for, uh, in terms of quality. I, I love it. And, you know, a lot of us more and more are taking photos, especially for social media or even mm -hmm. for our project, our portfolios with yep. digital cameras and iPhones. I know we just did a course uh, this year earlier. And if you guys haven't seen it, check out the YouTube channel for our webinar with Linda Hold on how to take a iPhone photos for your portfolio, for your mm -hmm. social medias. Uh, so, I, I mean, I, I, it's just, are we going to put photographers out of that? Yeah. <laughs> out of, out of it's business coming with close. IPhone? It's coming close. It's going <laughs> to, when you're doing your, your personal, uh, personal photos of your projects and you just want to take some quick photos. I mean, this is just, these are going to allow you to take a much closer level to that professional level of, of photography with just, you know, not having to do much, not having to be a professional. Um, and even like you mentioned, like a lot of, um, you know, interior designers as they should be doing is, you know, posting to their social media accounts. Accounts. Um, a lot of them are doing videos, doing podcasts, you know, recording in different ways too. This is this is just making you the production value of of your content across the board that much higher quality. Uh, even you know, with respect to the video, there's there's video stabilization uh, capabilities called you know cinematic mode and action mode. There's all these different modes that allow you to shoot in a much more professional manner without really having to know anything different or do anything different than you would otherwise be doing with previous phones. So that's going to be a huge benefit too as you're creating that content to show a potential clients this is um this is going to be a big deal okay i love it what else yeah. uh you know after after the the phone and all of that you just have the the biggest thing is all that stuff is great but if your phone dies halfway through the day because the battery is terrible right it doesn't matter <laughs> because oh you're trying to do a meeting nope phone's dead or you have to constantly be charging it the battery life obviously has been improved in this phone as well as some of these features um so it's 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 had a small bump also, while including all these much more, you know, intensive and rigorous um, uh, features that really drain the battery much more, it actually has become more efficient and given you a, a slight uh, bump up in terms of the battery life as well. So, um, you know, there are a million other great features to this phone, but I think those are some of the bigger ones that are going to really help uh, interior designers and architects. But uh, it's... You know, it's done a great job so far putting it through the paces and I already, uh, I love it and I, I know you guys will too, so. I cannot wait to get mine. I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, it, it really is awesome. It's, uh, I'm, I'm impressed, so. All right. Well, if you're yep. impressed and I know you're a pretty tough customer, I mean, you, I, know, I you know a thing or two <laughs> about, yeah, right, about yep. photography. I know you, I know you do. So, all right. Well, Gavin, thank you so much for, uh, you know, being a guinea pig and suffering and torturing yourself and testing this for us. <laughs> it was just, it was hard, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Gavin. Thanks, Darla. See you guys.
Thank you, Gavin. I can't wait to get my new iPhone. I'm such a spoiled brat that I have to upgrade it uh, every so often. Uh, but I justify it because I'm on the AT&T upgrade plan or whatever that is. And I, I tell myself, oh, it's free. I have the little, little plan, but uh, it's not free. Don't tell my fiance. Just spoiled. If you did miss our webinar with Linda Holt on how to take magazine worthy smartphone photos for your interior design business, head on over to our YouTube channel designed by Wingnut Social and catch that under our webinar playlist. If you're here, that'll be at the end there. We should have a link to that so you guys can check that out. And they, these two will just go so well together like cheese and crackers. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, if you need help with digital marketing for your interior design firm, wingnutsocial.com. Just hit that Let's Chat. And our lovely and talented sales manager, Shasta Ballard, will help you out and see how we can partner together to level up your interior design business. Remember, until next time, to get out there, get uncomfortable, and be great. Man, a new sash. Yeah. yeah. Is your interior design firm just so busy that you don't have any time to post on your own social media accounts? Are you at a loss with what to post? Do you have zero strategy? Well, then you need to give us a call at 786-206-4331 or wingnutsocial.com.